top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, a week full of news on the world of the paranormal, but as usual there is always someone who tries to be clever by creating fake videos like this one where we see a car along a mountain path near a cemetery and frame with the headlights what the author describes as a ghost. Because in 2021 it is still normal to think that ghosts have a big white sheet on their heads and move like humans creating shadows. Currently the video shows 1,800,000 views, assuming they are as real as the ghost. Anyway, let's leave the sheets aside and let's go back to our appointment towards the third position in the standings. The Mysterious EVP During our investigations on paranormal videos, we came across numerous audio recordings EVP, electronic voice phenomena, one of the most frequent elements in haunted places. This is the subject of the third video, posted on June 26, 2022 to an American family, intent on fixing up their new home following a move. Posted on the subreddit forum Ghost by user Yusuke Yurameshi, the video is titled, Friend of mine responded to what she thought was her daughter. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Apparently this video does not seem to have any anomalies, we see Mila, a two-year-old girl playing with two objects while the mother behind the camera asks her what she was doing. The disturbing thing about this video is that the little girl does not answer, but a childish voice is still heard saying the word, nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. In the comments some users argue that the sound heard is nothing more than the rubbing of the two tools in the hand of the child, others write that it is the child herself who speaks without moving her mouth. To demonstrate the total extraneousness of the EVP from the child, the author uses a noise cleaning software making this video. Someone claims that it is a voiceover belonging to another child not far from the shoot, and the author explains that Mila's brother Angel, 8 years old, was away from home at the time, and the televisions had not yet been connected during the move. We cannot attribute an element to an hoax until proven otherwise, however we have also seen police videos with evident EVPs so the mystery remains on this story. Strange Presences Near the Tombs on June 23, 2022, one of the most famous American paranormal investigators, Franco of the YouTube channel Franco TV, a channel that we also followed in previous episodes, shot a live streaming in one of the most famous cemeteries in Florida, USA. As he scoured the cemetery as he usually does, and greeted his followers in live streaming, his camera caught something truly inexplicable. If this place looks remotely similar to you guys, this is that one video where you guys really liked it. It was an older video where I had one of these chairs move. I think it was that one down the back. Hold on, I'm trying to put my flashlight away. There we go. I think it was this one. And then this was the whole place down here. Franco shows the part of the cemetery already visited in a previous video where many of us will remember the chair that moved by itself. As he walks through the cemetery and recounts some unfortunate events that happened to his car while he was exploring, his camera captures a strange movement. That I feel like I don't do enough. Um, so just letting you guys know it's that I feel like I don't do enough. Um, so just letting you guys know it's just before entering the passage opposite, the camera captures a translucent humanoid form moving from the tombs from right to left. In the comments several times users point out this, but in streaming live comments nobody notices this disturbing presence. Better to do the the the, the Patreon than it is for the Francoholics, because I really don't update on that too much. And on another occasion, 10 minutes later, we witness a similar scene. While Franco talks to his followers, in the garden facing the corridor of tombs, a strange figure moves behind the bench on the lawn from left to right. Some say it is the same entity as before that follows Franco in his movements, some do not notice anything, others argue it could be a very strange game of lights of the camera. Patreon. And I forgot about talking about it because I haven't spoke about it yet. I was going to do a Patreon live. 
with the creepy things that were going. Uh, I've been having some weird stuff in my house. The thing is, my house has... Been, oh, and thank you again, Catherine. You, I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, oh, good night, Sean. I love you, man. Uh, now, if we analyze the video, we can hypothesize that the first images of this disturbing figure, although gruesome, are attributable to a play of lights, some kind of reflection due to the marble of the tombs, but the next figure that moves in the field of grass, does not seem to have reason to exist far from reflections and lights. Uh, I've been having some weird stuff in my house. The thing is, my house has been, Oh, and thank you again, Catherine. You, I, I greatly appreciate it. Given the heavy reputation of a haunted place, Franco's past videos in this cemetery and the extraordinary nature of the live streaming, if these figures were confirmed, would really be facing to an evidence of afterlife interference in a place of peace. The souls of patients locked up. There is a famous sanatorium in America, the Waverly Hills Sanatorium located in southwestern Louisville slash Jefferson County, Kentucky. Opened in 1910, it has hosted thousands of tuberculosis patients, has seen dozens of deaths and a lot of suffering within its walls and closed its doors in 1961, ending up completely abandoned. For the locals, it is a haunted place because anyone who has visited that immense building has experienced strange EVP phenomena, dark shadows, and extreme drops in temperature. There are two interesting videos shot respectively in 2012 and 2013 by investigators of the paranormal, who managed to film strange chilling movements at night. Posted on July 7, 2012 on the YouTube channel entitled Curtis, the first video was captured by a camera placed in the corridor of the second floor solarium. In the late evening, after 11 p.m., the investigators hear strange noises coming from the corridor on the second floor, so one of them lights up the entrance hall with a torch but sees nothing. The camera placed at the other end of the corridor, captures instead three distinct dark shadows moving from right to left. In the comments some claim to count even more than three entities together. An incredible succession of shadows that move for a short period of time or an optical illusion, the second video inside this building was published about a year later on August 5, 2013 on the YouTube channel entitled Scream Paranormal, by the Scream Paranormal Research Investigation Team, and by placing a camera in the second floor they capture something truly incredible. Investigators stated that, once they reached the second floor, in the same corridor as the previous video, they saw something move but only the camera was able to capture what looks like a humanoid figure stop first to the left and move from left to right, to then enter one of the sanatorium lodgings. It is certainly not HD videos given the technology of the years in which they were shot and the lack of light, however the incredible phenomena recorded coincide with the various statements that the visitors of this sanatorium have released to several local newspapers and televisions, and also with the feelings declared by the many investigators of the paranormal within those walls. In the last few hours a video is shared on the various social networks of a YouTuber specialized in gameplay who, during a live streaming in his cellar, captures a dark shadow behind him after calling a parent aloud, obviously from the shadow it is clear that it is the parent himself. There is no doubt but many insist on seeing us of the paranormal, we obviously have not proposed anything of the kind because we believe that there is nothing paranormal in this video. Also for today, our episode ends here I thank you for watching and I give you an appointment on our social networks and on our YouTube channel. Do not forget to help us with a like if you like this content, which is much appreciated. In promising you a continuous fight against obviously fake videos, we will see you in the next video, I wish you good night.